This video is about word choice. If you've got your copy of the rubric, you can also look closely at that as I go through and explain what is expected when working below year level expectations, at year level expectations, and above year level expectations. Now let's look nice and closely at the below year level, and this is sometimes what you see in, in student writing. So I, just for word choice only, I use words that don't make sense, I use words I don't understand, I use the same words over and over. I use the first words that come to my mind. My words are sometimes confusing or not needed. Or my words don't paint a picture in my reader's mind. Now looking at year level expectations. My words are beginning to paint a picture in my reader's mind. My words make sense. I use some strong verbs, adjectives and ad adverbs. Now going into above year level expectations. My words paint a picture in my reader's mind. My words are clear, interesting and make sense. I use strong verbs, sensory words and precise nouns. Now going into five. My words paint a vivid picture. My words are powerful and create a clear message. I have used strong verbs, sensory words, precise nouns and modifiers. Here is a sample of a storybook titled A Bus Called Heaven. In the sample that you're being shown here, you will see some great examples of word choice and there are words here that are used to paint a vivid picture in the mind of the reader. Just follow as I read along for the first few pages. Bus Called Heaven by Bob Graham Abandoned The bus appeared one morning from a sea of traffic right outside Stella's house where no bus should be. Tired, old and sick. It had a hand-painted sign on it held down with packaging tape. The sign said Heaven. The bus brought change to Stella's street. Traffic slowed when no traffic had slowed before. People stopped and talked together. Just a little, but they talked. Stella changed too. She took her thumb from her mouth where it usually lived and said, Mummy, that old bus is sad as a whale on a beach. Then she pushed open the door and climbed on board. Stella, the colour of moonlight, stood among the bottles, cans and rubbish. She was so pale you could almost see through her. It could be hours, she, whisp she whispered. Whose? Asked Nikki, Vicky, Alex, Yasmin and Poe. What did she say? Asked Mrs. Demetrius. Ours, she said louder. 